Jane, I just want to tell you that I, I'm sorry about what happened tonight. Oh, Frank. Jane, I need to talk to you. May I come in? Well, okay, but the place is kind of a mess. And I was just about ready to make a protein shake. Do you want some? No, thank you. Are you sure? I'm trying out a new recipe tonight. Jane, do you know what Dr. Meinheimer is going to say at the press club dinner tomorrow? Yes, he's going to endorse energy efficiency and renewable energy like solar power. Who else knew that? Only me. And of course, I mentioned it to Quentin. And if the president were to adopt a national policy of supporting efficiency and solar energy, who would be the biggest loser? Well, coal, oil, and nuclear. Frank? Frank? Oh. Jane, just one more question. <laughs> You once told me that Dr. Meinheimer had a photographic memory, yet tonight he never recalled meeting me. That's strange, but he has been under a lot of stress lately. Does he have any identifying marks, a scar, a mole, a tattoo, webbed toes, a third nostril? Well, he has a birthmark in the shape of Whistler's mother on his right buttock. I see, well. Have you noticed anything different about him? Well? Only that he's a foot taller. And he seems to be left-handed now. Frank, what are you trying to tell me? That Quentin has somehow found an exact double for Dr. Meinheimer, and that tomorrow that double will give a fraudulent report to the president? Why, that's brilliant. That's a lot better than what I'd come up with. Frank, stop it. This is preposterous. Is there no end to your jealousy? Jane, you're hurting me. What more do you want from me? I use your phone? Local call? Yes. All right. You'll excuse me. Let's take my shower. The phone is in the other room. You can let yourself out. Goodbye. <laughs>